Welcome to Whips in the Dungeon. Um, I'm Dex, and I just recently got a new whip from Smoky Mountain Whips. Uh, Blake Gorey made me a four foot, two belly, uh, natural belly build, bull whip. I'm a, I did an unboxing, I'm gonna let you see this whip up close. Uh, I've had a chance to throw it one time at the woodshed. I'm gonna throw it a little bit for you uh, today and talk about some things as I throw it to give you an idea of the quality of this whip and uh, you know whether you want to order a whip from uh, from Smoky Mountain Whips. It's a fine whip. I'm going to bring it up close so you can see it. I'm going to step around so I can actually see where it is in the camera. So if you if you look, you've got a really nice Turk's head, nicely tied, combination of whiskey and saddle tan, and then some diamond plaiting down some chevron work here another little section of diamond some chevron work there coming down to the pineapple knot then when you look at the thong the thong is really 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 fine plaiting very fine plaiting world-class plaiting and it's just a really 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 Really, 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 really nice whip. Okay, and we get down to the keeper. The keeper's tied a little bit differently than I've seen keepers tied before, but it's, again, it's very, very nice. Okay, the fall is made out of red hide, and there you have the whip. Okay, that is the whip. So, at belly, spine, uh, I run my hand down. I don't feel any transitions. If I look really, really closely and slow it down, I can feel one there. I can feel one there. Excellent, excellent plaiting. The rollout was straight when I checked it. When I checked it against the arc, it arcs perfectly straight. Uh, when I rolled it around itself, the first 18 inches passed that test when I rolled it around itself here. I was able to identify the two places of the drops, but that doesn't discount how finely this whip is plaited. Uh, it's a little bit, it's maybe an ounce heavier than what I um, have been used to throwing in the dungeon, but let's put on a little music and let's throw it a little bit so you can see what it looks like when it's being thrown. I gotta adjust that volume a little bit. Let's get that down. There we go. A little bit of music. So I'm gonna throw some bow and arrow. Some people call this like a slingshot. I call it a bow and arrow. Come off the shoulder. Drag it straight off the shoulder. And you can come off either shoulder. Now we don't throw snakes and bulls horizontally very often because it, the, in targeting in the dungeon, a horizontal throw with the fall will, will it will be uh, adversely affected by gravity and harder to keep on target. Can you throw horizontally with a snake or a bull? Sure. But I don't do that, I don't teach that. I teach what's called a forward figure eight. So I'm rolling this forward figure eight out, forehand and backhand. So I'm throwing at both shoulders. If you look at the t-shirt, I'll be throwing at both shoulders. I could throw at both butt cheeks by working the lower part of the t-shirt. Even on the backhand side, against the spine, this whip will get better as it breaks in, but it's still really good. I turn my hand over, I can do a cutback. 
Flick forehand, cut back, backhand. Really, really, really nice flip. I just have to keep throwing it, continuing to break it in. As always, thanks for watching Whoops in the Dungeon.